Top 7 Best GPU for Rendering in 2022 Through extensive research and testing, I have put together the list of options that will meet the need of different types of buyers. So whether it's price, performance, or particular use, we have got you covered. For more information, I have put links of products in the description. Make sure to check it out. Like the video, comment, don't forget to subscribe, and let's get started. Number 7. AMD Radeon Pro WX7100 The AMD Radeon Pro WX7100 is a great GPU from the WX series and is well-suited for visualization, simulation, and rendering at the professional level. But what will catch your attention is the price of this graphics card. It's hard to believe that the card is on the same competing lever as other higher-priced NVIDIA solutions that we are recommending for 3D modeling and rendering experts. The GPU is made using the game-changing Polaris architecture and is the recommended solution for 3D works geared towards virtual reality. One reason for this is that its 2,304 streaming processors are more than capable of handling the process of stitching multiple high-quality videos from cameras at different angles, which is the standard process if you want to create an immersive VR experience. Then there is the fact that this GPU has been optimized to provide the best results when using popular modeling and rendering tools such as Auto CAD and SolidWorks. Number 6. Asus ROG Strix GeForce RTX 2080 Ti Coming in at number 3 is the Asus GeForce RTX 2080 Ti. This piece comes with 4,532 CUDA cores which promise unmatched rendering with amazing visuals and frame rates. It can also handle up to 4 picture quality with these, as with other GPU in the RTX series. The main selling point on this graphics card is the real-time ray tracing. The only difference is the accuracy and efficiency that the RTX 2080 Ti executes the technology. It comes with almost double the ray tracing hardware of the RTX 2080 that can deliver up to 10 giga rays per second of ray tracing acceleration. The inclusion of the DLSS hardware means you can enjoy the photorealistic lighting of ray tracing without suffering a drop in frame rates. It also has almost double the graphics processing power. The NVIDIA RTX 2080 is a memory bandwidth of 616 Gbps that facilitates the fast transfer of data from the GDDR6 VRAM to the GPU. The available space is 11 GB of GDDR6 VRAM. This GPU has a boost clock speed of 1635 MHz. This can be further overclocked through a self-implemented overclock. Number 5. PNY NVIDIA Quadro RTX 4000 The PNY NVIDIA Quadro RTX 4000 may be on the higher end of the price spectrum, but it offers great value for your buck. It is manufactured using the Chorin architecture, which means that real-time ray tracing is one of its dominant features. This GPU clocks at 1005 MHz core speed, but when you feed it with a heavy load to process, the clock speed can rise up to 1545 MHz. The Quadro 4000 has been optimized for creative work, and so, if you are using CAD applications, such as Auto CAD and SolidWorks, you will notice that it accelerates the plugins and filters in these software in a very noticeable way and increases performance in areas such as viewpoint and animation. It also facilitates more accurate anti-aliasing and wireframe drops. The result is increased rendering speeds and high-quality renderings that are very close to reality. Another reason why you will find the Quadro RTX 4000 graphics card great is that it offers adequate VRAM space of 8 GB to store files that are needed quickly. Moreover, the RTX 4000 has 2,304 CUDA cores for fast, speed rendering, 288 Tensor cores, and 36 RT cores. The RT cores accelerate the computation of how light and sound travel in 3D environments to up to 10 giga rays per second. Number 4. AMD Radeon Pro WX8200 AMD never ceases to surprise me with how they package such a rich set of features and still offer their GPU at such cost-effective prices. 3,584 That's how many cores the Radeon Pro WX8200 ships with. Tell me you won't feel a difference in your rendering process. There's absolutely no model that you can't render with this GPU. It doesn't matter the amount of detail in it, the rendering quality, or even if your workstation is performing other tasks. But that's not even the real deal. The Radeon Pro WX8200 is created using the Vega architecture, which is currently the holy grail of AMD workstation GPU. 
This GPU has a boost clock speed of 1500 MHz, but that might as well read 2000 MHz because when compared to the Quadro 4000, the WX8200 comes out top in terms of performance. The only place where the 4000 outshines this AMD workstation GPU is VRAM. The Radeon Pro WX8200 only offers 8GB of HBAM to VRAM. This has even been a major talk point among industry experts, but in my opinion, the decreased VRAM is the reason this GPU has managed to stay below the $1,000 mark. Number 3. NVIDIA Quadro RTX 6000 In terms of raw performance, the Quadro RTX 6000 isn't going to be much better than the RTX 2080 tie outside of VRAM-constrained scenarios. This is reflected in Octane Bench, which shows a mere 308 over the 2080 Ti's 302, an incredibly marginal difference. But if you've read the article, you probably figured that part out already. The main incentive for getting a Quadro RTX card is the enhanced software support, stability, and XC RAM support. If you want something in this price slash performance range but the Quadro RTX 6000 doesn't offer exactly what you're looking for, consider the three alternatives provided below. If this card looks a little VRAM choked for your purposes, opt instead for the Quadro RTX 8000. Most of the specs are the same, but VRAM is doubled. Number 2. NVIDIA RTX 3090 If you want on a tight budget but don't need XC and don't want to sell a kidney to afford a graphics card, get the NVIDIA RTX 3090. For gaming purposes, the RTX 3090 doesn't really stack up in terms of performance per dollar when compared to its lower tier counterparts. However, it does boast a rather significant boost in raw compute performance over said non tie counterparts, which makes it a more compelling option for editing and rendering. In Octane Bench, the RTX 3090 scores a nice 661, placing it firmly on the high end of single GPU cards in terms of single GPU performance. All this considered makes the RTX 3090 our top pick in this tier. If you're going to be working with 1404 4K video or highly demanding rendering tasks on the regular, the 3090 is one of the best cards for the job. Number 1. NVIDIA RTX 2060 Super If you're on a tight budget but you still want to get good performance in editing and rendering tasks for the money, the RTX 2060 Super would be our first pick. Compared to the other GPU in its price range, it offers superb performance across the board for gaming and professional work alike. For gaming, though, the AMD RX 5700 is definitely the better option. Boasting a modest amount of RT and Tensor cores with a pretty significant number of CUDA cores, the RTX 2060 Super is more than adequate for editing 1008 type and 1404 type video. In Octane Bench, the card scores roughly 205, which is considerably better than both the Quadro RTX 3000 at 149 and the Quadro RTX 5000 at 184. This means the raw compute power available in the 2060 Super outstrips that of even Quadro RTX cards that cost several times its price, which certainly isn't bad. For those who are just starting out with editing and rendering, or who don't have literal thousands of dollars to invest in the harder yet, the RX 2060 Super is the perfect place to begin. So guys, that's all for the top 7 best GPU for rendering in 2022. The links of all products are given in the description, which are updated for the best prices. Subscribe our channel for more videos. We will meet in next video till then take care, bye.